So I've got the project up to this point with the last changes that I made, the one about the de detecting the device and such. Well, that means it's different. It's different than the one that I had on my flash drive from a while ago. The last time I saved a final version of it was on the 14th. So this is often what will happen. You're working on the project. You need to release a new version. So you have to do the publication process again. So we'll, we'll cover that right now. Um, remember that in the network folder, I have that file in the MAD3 folder publishing to the App Store. And that takes you back to the original documentation on how to do this. So I couldn't find my original key store. I had to create a new one. And it's all there in that documentation. It reminds you about going to the command prompt and running the key tool app to create the key store. Hopefully, you didn't lose your key store. You didn't forget your password, etc. But if you need to create a brand new key store, a, a .key store file, you are able to create one. Yes? Can you um, create a new one on um, iOS and Windows computer? Yeah, it just requires Java. And you can get Java on Windows or Mac, and you can create the key store. <coughs> so I had to create another key store, and I put it into my flash drive. Um, it's on my flash drive right there. Well, because I created a different key store, mm. this is going to fail when I try to to publish it in Visual Studio. And I saw this happening to a, f a few of you last time, but it wasn't your fault because depending on what drive you plug in your flash drive, you your key store may be on drive G or F or H or some other drive. So it's going to look for the last place where that key store file was at. And if it can't find it there, it'll give you a big old error. So here's how we would fix that. I'm in the project. And in the build.json file, this is where we tell it, this is where our key store is at. So if you're having trouble that it can't find your key store, maybe you moved it to another folder without, without thinking about it, well, that breaks the connection from Visual Studio to your key store. Because look at this. Mine says, your key store is on drive F. And that's the name of your key store. Well, that's totally different. I have a brand new key store. And for a, few, for a few of you, that's what I saw also, that you had it on drive G on one day. And then when you, when you just plugged in drives in a certain sequence, now you're on drive F or drive H or something. So you would just change it here. I am on, still on drive F, but I created a brand new file. So I'll put the new name. And since I needed to create a brand new file, in my case, I also have a brand new alias. So for yourself, probably you just need to fix the path here. And yes, you do need a double backslash right here. It's an escape character. If you don't have that, there's a little wavy line saying, that's not a valid character. Backslash C is not a valid character. So if you see any wavy lines, you hover your mouse above it, and it'll give you a hint. So make sure you've got a double backslash after your drive letter. So I'll save that. You could save yourself some effort by putting your actual password here and here. And that way, it won't pop up to ask you your password twice. Although I'm not putting it here because I would be showing you and I would be recording <coughs> it. I would be recording it and you'd be seeing it. So I'm leaving it empty. It'll pop up to ask me. But it is a time saver to plug it in there. Uh, and then it'll just uh, do it. Uh, it'll just process it. Now be careful also, because if you're passing this project around, you know, for whatever reason, you gave someone a copy of it for, for them to play with, whoops, you gave them your password. So I'm leaving mine blank. The other change to do here is when we're working with the project, when we're still adding to it, we're in debug mode. Well, we want to release it to the App Store. 
So I need to change this to release. And I noticed that for a few people last time also that it didn't want to behave, but we needed to switch between either debug or release mode. Release mode, Android to device. You do need a device for it to fully compile. Once I've got that, I've got the key store in the right place. The key store path is set correctly. I've got release set. It should be the same to simply click the button there, but the documentation says uh, you should instead go to build, build solution. So following the documentation seems to give you the best result. Um, keyboard shortcut, control shift B. Do you happen to know what the second one is, that build, build app or whatever? Is there or the one down here? Yeah. Build solution and build. Te okay, I was just curious if you knew because I'll. Technically, in a solution, we can have multiple projects. So we've only got one project, so the first one is the same as the second. But if we had different projects, we could say build this one project or build that other project. So we'll build the whole solution that'll go on working on its own in the background. Uh, I'm going to let that do its thing. But all of that came again from the documentation that I have in the link in the network folder. So following that, you shouldn't have a problem. So you will want to uh, publish. You, you will want to um, publish the, the real you know, final version of this project. Uh, and I'm going to go around and checking people's work because we've added a, a new feature, right? We added that um, phone detection. So however you want to word it in your listing, in your uh, project, you know, you could you could word it somehow about phone detection for features, something like that, to show the user that they can do that. Okay, so that's going to do its thing. And I'll have a brand new version of Android dash release in this folder. In the um, in the uh, in the APK folder. So I won't wait for that to do it, but that's the big idea. <clears throat> You're going to then also go back to developer.amazon.com. You're going to log in. Uh, a few of you did fully publish your app. That's cool. So you need to log back in to do a version 2. If you didn't release your first one, well, you need to go back in anyway to uh, upload your latest APK compared to the last one. So that'll be the final thing that I'll check later on in the day. That you have the latest version of the APK uploaded to your developer account. You still don't have to fully publish it for the whole world to see if you don't want, but I do want to see that the latest APK is in there and that your listing you know, is complete. You've got your screenshots, you've got your description, you have a description about this latest feature we added, and uh, I'll be checking that sometime, anytime today, before you leave. This is going to take a while here. So general questions again about this. Read the documentation, but any general questions on that? You mentioned you need to go in and change the version number. Do you do that before you actually do the build? The version number would be if you have published it at least once to the App Store, this one right over here, okay. uh, right here. And you would set that version number before you do the build? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if any of you did publish one time, you're going to need to go back to the config XML to your Android screen and increment that by one. Everything else you can leave alone 
but definitely you want to increment that because it is version 2 of your code. You try to upload it to the App Store, and it'll reject it. It'll say, why are you trying to upload version 1 again? So there has been a new version of the code we're uploading, so that would be version 2. I would save that, and then I would build. Should we change the version to common? The one that you definitely need is that one, version code, but it would be a good all idea also in common, because this one here, you could write here it's version 2. I wouldn't write version 2. I would probably write version 1.2 point the date, because this one is usually reserved for a big change in the app. You know, you change the design, you add a whole bunch of new features, because it's a major change. The code we added last time, I would classify it as minor. And the build is oftentimes the date. So you would make these changes. You would update your build.json, you would update your config.xml, and then you would build, and that's what you would upload to the App Store. I forgot, does it automatically generate the APK for you and put it in your root directory? Not in the root directory. I'll show you where it ends up. But it ends up in your project deep down in a folder, which I'll pull up in a moment. We pulled it out of there and put it into the root. Let's say mine generated. It's still thinking about it. But let's say mine got generated. So the place you would find that is inside of your project folder, inside of CBDB, inside of platforms, inside of Android. Inside uh, build. Outputs. APK. So what's going to be in here are the debug versions, which you'll ignore, and two release versions. You want the one that says simply release. This one is unaligned, it's unzipped, it's uncompressed, it's insecure. I don't know why really they would give you that version, so skip that one. The only one you want is Android release, and obviously you should have the latest date. Mine's not finished compiling yet, but it'll have your latest date android-release.apk, that's the one then you would copy to your root directory and call it, you know, my app-2. What was the date of the difference between this one and the, the, the one which is stored in bin instead of platform? Yeah, there's another one up in bin here. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I feel safer going to the one that the documentation says to do. The documentation says to go into the one in that long folder. But yeah, there is, there is another one over here for some reason. And I see that they seem to have the same date. I haven't compared file sizes. They probably are the same. I don't know why there's two different ones, but I feel safer going for the one in the, in the other folder. <coughs> you can help me out. You can test it, and you can see what happens. Because this one does separate it into debug and release as well. And even in release, that's interesting. Even in the release folder, there's a debug version. So I don't know about that. And in the debug folder, there's also a release version. So my compiling finished, and the compiling says it built it, and it put it in the folder there. Platform Android build output APK Android release. So then I can confirm that in the Explorer right here, published today, November 30th, at 7-11.
not in a 7-Eleven, but at 7-Eleven. I'm going to copy that to my root of my flash drive. Do you happen to know if there are any restrictions on naming that APK? Do you have a dash or something like that? I think it only wants dashes. Uh, so any alphanumeric characters plus a dash. I'm calling mine. Uh, so Campos CB DB two. And again, the documentation is there. So. Uh, for your final assessment before you leave, you'll need to show me your app store, uh, complete with your latest version. You'll have a little time to work on that a little later also. That will be the final assessment. We're going to do one other lecture on a slightly different topic, but still related. Final questions on this. Did uh, that documentation you were working I can't remember, did your system ever come back? Nope. Uh, Bad luck. It completely crashed, and it was completely stuck, and I couldn't retrieve it. Uh,